a solid object. Okay. So, जो हमारे metal होते हैं, they are sonorous in nature. That's why the school bells are made up of metal only. So that when it is uh, hit, everybody in the school can hear it from far away as well. Right. And also, if you are fond of playing guitar or any other uh, musical instrument that has those strings, and when you pull those strings, they produce sound. So strings are also made up of metal. Okay. So this again shows us that metals are sonorous in nature. Okay. Now, next property is conductance of heat and electricity. Now, earlier I gave you the example of copper wires, right? I told you that they are used for the wiring purposes in the house. So obviously, if they are used for the electrical uh, as electrical wires, then they must be conducting electricity, right? So this shows that they are good conductors of electricity. Then conductance of heat, हम कैसे समझा सकते हैं? If you go to your kitchen and see what different metal utensils you can find there, okay? Aluminium, copper utensils are generally there in every household. You will find that. Okay? Suppose you heat your food, you cook your food in a suppose in a aluminium utensil, okay? You are heating it and the food is getting cooked. This means that the metal, the utensil made of aluminium is allowing the heat to pass through it. That's why the food is getting cooked, right? So what does this tell us? That metals are good conductors of heat, right? Okay, so we can do that. Metals are good conductors of heat and electricity both. Now moving on, melting point. I must tell you that metals have a very very high melting point. For example, I tell you about uh, iron. Iron has a melting point of around one five four three degrees Celsius. See, it's such a high temperature. Having a high temperature means it's very difficult to melt them. Normally, you take up uh, any metals, you just आप कोई आयरन नहीं ही ले लो, ट्राई हीटिंग इट नॉर्मली। विल यू बी एबल टू मेल्ट इट? नो राइट? बिकॉज़ दे हैव वेरी हाई मेल्टिंग पॉइंट। ओके। नाउ, नेक्स्ट इस सॉल्विड एट रूम टेम्परेचर। दिस इज़ वेरी सिंपल प्रॉपर्टी। यू योरसेल्फ कैन फाइंड आउट। ऑब्जर्व एनी मेटल अराउंड यू दैट यू फाइंड and you will always find that they are solid in, uh, at room temperature. Neither liquid nor gas, but they are solid at room temperature. Okay. Moving on, next property is density. So, the formula of density is mass upon volume. Okay. Suppose I have two cubes of same volume and one is of iron which is a metal and another is of some other material which is not metal. You will find that the metal cube will be heavier than the other because the volume for both is same but the difference lies in the mass. The difference lies here in the mass and in turn the mass of the metals is high. And therefore, in turn, the density is also very high. Bhari, aapko bhari lagenge metals because of high density. Okay? So, we have covered all our physical properties for the metals. Now, let's discuss just some of the exceptions which are there. Okay? Fine. Now, the first exception is, I told you that all the metals are solid at room temperature, right? Which is true. But there is one metal which is not solid but liquid at room temperature. Which is which metal is that? That is mercury. Mercury is that metal which is liquid at room temperature. Uh, you can find mercury in the thermometer. Whenever you go to lab, check the thermometer. You will find uh, some liquidy, a uh, silvery uh, substance in thermometer. That is your mercury. Fine. Then next uh, exception that we have is, is of 
helium and cesium. Okay. Now, how are they exception? I told you that all the metals have a very high melting point. That is, they're very difficult to melt. But these elements have such a low melting point that even if you keep them on your palm, they're going to melt from the heat of your palm. See? Such low melting point they have. Okay. So this was another exception. Now, I also told you that metals are very hard, difficult to cut through. But metals like sodium and potassium are actually very soft. You can easily cut them using a knife. Okay. Also, they have very low density. Okay. So yeah, these were the exceptions. And this is it for the physical properties of metals. So let's quickly revise what we have studied up till now. Okay. We saw that elements can be divided into three main groups, metals, non-metals, metalloids. Then we discussed the physical properties of metals. We saw that metals are hard in nature. They have luster. They have shine. They can be drawn into thin sheets. Okay. They can be drawn into thin wires as well. Then they produce a ringing sound when they are struck hard. Then they are good conductors of heat and electricity as well. And they have a high melting point. Okay. And all of them are solid at room temperature. And also they have very high density. Okay. So these were the physical properties of the metal and some of the exceptions that we just discussed. Fine. So this is it for this video. In the next class, I will be uh, taking up the physical properties of non-metals. And just like in case of metals, it also has some exceptions that we will discuss as well. Okay? So, thank you. Have a nice day.